What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, we are here today with the next episode of Child of Light. And so in today's episode, we've still got to continue, I mean I got kind of sidetracked going left unfortunately. Like the only mission we really had was to fly leftwards and I just kept getting in fights and stuff. And so today I think I'm going to avoid the fights and we're just going to go straight for the storyline node. Let me open up this chest with my right click there. And I think we already, did we already explore this option? Yeah, this is the way that we got through previously. And so, actually, I should probably go get these. Oh, I went backwards. I am a dumb bastard of the highest caliber. All right, well, we needed more MP, and unfortunately, I went in the wrong order with the magical glowy flowers that shoot their... The altar perched high. The lady said we have to pass it by. So is it... I thought the altar was that thing in the cave where we got the sword. But I may be completely and totally wrong. I'm gonna be careful. Sometimes just by the nature of where your mouse accidentally is when you hit those things, you accidentally trigger them out of order. Is that a big treasure chest or something? Oh, there's actually a thingy. Doesn't look like we can investigate it or anything, so it's probably something we're gonna have to come back to later. I mean, they did obviously tell us to pass it by being the stubborn, being the stubborn individual that I am. I wanted to check on it myself because I'm a doubting Thomas, but. It's okay. Let's slow down. I'm going to go for a... Not a healing tonic. Now is not the time for drinking. I'm going to go with a starlight cast right there. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to put him out of the combat, but it was close. Since he's going to be the one buffing the attack speed of everybody else, he is single-handedly causing the... I don't know if we're going to get that off in time. Yeah, it's going to be close, but they almost always cast Numbing Bite first. And so in a lot of cases, it's not really going to affect you that negatively if you risk getting interrupted on the first turn, I think. And so we're going to double interrupt him. Not going to matter because he is now expired. I should probably grab the remainder of these wishes in the background. We got a rough sapphire out of the deal, which is good because we could use a couple more of those. The rough rubies, have I got enough? Let me take a look at my inventory in just a moment. And we'll try and figure out... We get some free MP right there. And in just a moment, we'll try and figure out if we've got enough of the rubies to cross them over and make them into a big ruby. So let's swing it back down to the bottom. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything else to investigate up that way. Back off to the left. Oh, there's like a skull and like a morning star or something over here. That's interesting. I wonder what that's going to... There's no way that that's just going to stay where it is. Is there a secret passage right there or something? It looked like that was almost like shaded in kind of a weird way that led me to believe that quite possibly I could get myself some... Little girl, you will not pass this way. I will eat you up this day. Step out of the way. Or I will turn you into clay. That one's... That's a stretch. That was a stretch. Ooh. He's got homies with him. That's unfortunate. Alright, well... What kind of potions do I have to make this easier? We've got a magic potion. We've got a fairy nectar, no, probably not the thing that I'm looking for. A firefly elixir, no. I don't know if he's a dark creature just yet, so maybe we want to do a little bit of experimentation before I go that far. Let's go ahead and do ailment protection. Well, I want to keep her open for heals, so never mind. Let's just go ahead and go with a tumble. And let's start working the wolves first, I think. I'm going to go for a Starlight on the Wolves. And I don't know if my best option is going to be to... Which one is this? It's that one right there. Okay, so let's see if we can't finish him off. Obviously, we want to get the Interrupt away as soon as possible. We've already killed off one of his mobs before he's going to be able to do anything to us, which is actually a really, really good thing. I'm going to take a risk right here. Oh, he's going to gather strength, so it's going to work out either way. I probably should have gone with Starlight right there just to test out and see if he's a dark creature to see if I could debuff him or anything like that. Gather up some wishes here to make sure that we keep our debuff running. And with our attack on this side, we've taken a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. We're not looking, we're not looking too hairy at the moment. So I think we'll probably be okay... Just kind of going for it. And I'm going to continue to debuff his attack speed, or his turn speed anyways. 
slow that down since he's going to happen either way. Ogre Wrath is off and does 43 damage. Whew. All right, so that's a pretty major strike. That's going to hurt a lot, actually. Let me go for... I'm going to risk it. I don't know who's going to get... Okay, Numbing Bite. I'll take it. And so she's going to have her health back up to full. We should be able to kill off the dog right here. And then we're going to focus on Big Ogre Man. He's used Flail, which is going to do 30 damage. And I'm just going to throw out auto attacks right here, I think. Oh, his turn went way faster than I expected. All right, so that's going to be terrible. Let's go ahead and throw a potion on her. And since we're not acquiring like gill or gold or anything else that you want to call it at this course in the game, I don't think we're going to be able to buy stuff anytime soon. And we need to collect some wishes because our little buddy has run out of his speed debuff. On this side, I don't think there's necessarily anything we need to do right this second. I never tested out the Starlight Hypothesis, so maybe I should do that. He's not a creature of darkness, so... Oh! He counters magical attacks. That's really bad. I can't guarantee we're going to get that attack off, but we're going to try. And then, with this turn, we're going to throw out another heal. Luckily, we got that one out just in time. Ooh, and we took him out. All right, and so now that he's taking a dirt nap for a little while, I don't know if he's going to be an actual fatality. The game seems a little gentle for that. Well, no. What do I know about anything? I could be completely misinformed. Got ourselves an HP Stardust out of there, which is going to be nice. I'll probably throw that on Aurora. The Tree of Thorns. Here it is, the Lady's Clue. Now we simply have to pass through. After you. Okay, well, let's check and see what's off to the left. I mean, we do have the benefit of flight here, so... You never know. You might be hiding goodies around here somewhere. Ah. Confession number five. Just blowing in the wind. As they are known to do, I guess. I think when you level up, it gives you full HP and full MP. We have four skill points to allocate, and so I'm going to continue going down the set path that we've already got. MP upgrade over here, and then we're going to get Starlight number two, which is going to cost us six MP, but simultaneously it's going to have 30 spell power as opposed to the 20 of the previous attack. It's probably going to be a little bit better. I probably should have buffed my attack in that last fight too. I didn't even try that ability out. It was a bit lame on my part. I've got like abilities and I'm just not using them. And I should more than likely do that since I spent the time to spend the skill points on them. So we'll go HP upgrade and then magic defense upgrade right there. Once we get to heal all, looks like there's further specializations down here. I don't know if those are DLC or something or maybe we unlock those later as kind of like alternate advancements or something. I don't know. We'll find out. I should probably fiddle with my oculi as well. Don't ever let your teacher catch you fiddling with your oculi in class. Good way to get yourself expelled. And so, we're going to go, yeah, so that's upgraded right there, very nice. And so what I'll do now, is because we've got that, that's going to give us a really good chance to evade. 10% is not negligible. By comparison to the max MP that we already have, actually if I unequip hers, let's go ahead and unequip hers, and then we'll just combine those together. And there it is, we've got a new Tumbled Emerald. And so going back, I'm going to equip that. That's going to give her 4 to her max MP, although is the number she's at divisible by 6? Because if so, it's not really going to matter. Or I'm sorry, if not, it's not really going to matter. She has 20 MP, so yeah, not really going to be a huge benefit right there. I could equip the 2 just as well as I could equip the, the plus 4 or whatever it is that the new one did. I wasn't paying attention, but anyways, the buff's not going to matter because it's not going to get us to the next increment of 6. So, eh, we'll leave it there for later. It'll help out, not at this moment, but it might be a benefit in the future down the road somewhere. The map of Lemuria is now available, allowing rapid travel to prior locations. Okay. Is that going to be... 
Oh, that's cool. So you've got yourself a nice little hand-drawn map with a goofy little, like, weed demon-looking thing right there. With this crazy stoner smile on his face. That's exactly how I look right before I get down on some munchy cookies. I think... Well, I'm not thinking anything right now. My brain is blank. Like, half the audience is like, yeah, we already knew that, man. We don't need that explained. We are already down with that proclamation. So we're going to continue going left. The Tree of Thorns was the thing that we were looking for. Do these hurt me? Okay, so the spiky stones don't hurt me, but the brambles do. Let's check down and around and see what we can't get our grubby little fingers on, because little kids' fingers are always grubby. Like, never look at a little kid's fingers. Oh, they are always so gnarly. No matter how much you wash them, they get them dirty again, like, three seconds later, too. Just like, damn, little kid. Should work on that. Looks so like we've got a griffin over here, and while typically not threatening to creatures of good, I get the feeling he's probably going to be an asshole and attack us. And so, yep, there it is. Ambushed! How are we ambushed? We went into him face first. I'm a little bit confused by that. Alright, that doesn't seem right, but okay. Cut that attack off just in time, and we should be able to... Is he going to die? No, he's going to be a little bit tougher than he looks. Alright, so it may have been a better idea for me to have healed right there. Yep. Definitely probably should have done that. And he's all out of farts now, so let me work on this here. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Yay, nay, be useful, do something. Okay, well I guess not. Let's go ahead and... We'll go after a revive right there, since this doesn't appear to be doing anything. That's going to put her back up to an HP level where she can still probably get one-shotted, but we'll hope it won't happen. That spider is looking kind of off his feet right now. God, so much damage. And so the interruption went through right there. We're going to have to spend this time to use a healing potion on her just to make sure that she survives the next turn. Oh, she's stunned? Well, that's really, really bad. So they're actually wielding a pretty potent combination of abilities right now. They're really kind of putting me... Yeah, I'm kind of on my heels right now. This is not going well for us. Let's throw out a heal on Rubella just to make sure that it works out okay. And we'll even the numbers slightly. We're all out of farty magic, unfortunately. So we're going to have to kind of dial that back in as well. I'm going to put her in defend mode because, frankly, you just never know who's about to get hit. And with her action, let's go ahead and start tumbling. I'm going to try and get the spider up front. Swoop is going to come through and hit Aurora, and we can only hope that that kick gets off before anything else terrible happens. I'm going to throw out a slash right there, just to guarantee that Rubella gets a turn. And with our turn, we're going to throw out a heal. This might be one of those cases where I need to grind up just a slight bit, so after this episode I may go fight five or six battles and just see if we can get our levels up a little bit higher, because I am feeling as though while the fight is merely a challenge right now, if I don't, I feel like if I don't get ahead of the curve, this is going to backfire on me. Like, I remember back in Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VII, there were definite points where you wanted to hang back for a little while and grind up a couple levels, otherwise the next fight was going to be unnecessarily difficult. And so, while the last boss fight wasn't really a challenge, this trash mob fight was a bit more challenging than I expected. And it didn't even supply us with a level up, but we did get a rough sapphire out of it, so that's useful treasure. Maybe we'll get something good out of here. A healing tonic. That was not worth the effort that we expended. I'm gonna... I think we had an item left over that I never used either. Yeah, the HP Stardust and the Strength Stardust. I should probably use those. Let's continue throwing those on her because her HP is just so low right now that she's just getting tanked on. She's getting tanked on super hard. Just treads to the face. And then we'll also give her the Magic Buff. Or, I'm sorry, the Strength Buff. Well... 
We'll give her the strength buff because she's doing a little bit more melee damage right now. I think I'll just dogpile it on the main character. It's the only person I don't have to worry about leaving would be my rationale right there. I don't know if this is one of those RPGs where players come and go, where after you buff them up a whole bunch, they choose to leave during a certain story period, and then you find yourself just having wasted a whole bunch of resources on somebody that's no longer part of the group. Another revive to replace the one we used in the last fight, which is nice that they've managed to go ahead and do that for us. And have replaced the deficit that we have now in our restoratives. Part of it was the fact that it gave them an ambush right there where I don't feel like that was necessarily fair. We went into them face first. It should have just been an even fight where we both started from a neutral position. And for whatever reason, it counted it as an ambush. So, I don't know what was up with that. Two spiders and one of those flying stick monsters. I'm going to go for... Are these the speedy guys? I can't remember. So that appears as though it's going to work out. So we got a double interrupt off right there. That stun ability is ridiculous. That thing is hardcore. And very, very unfortunate. He's going to throw growth spur on everybody right now. Alright, well... I'm gonna try and get a couple casts off here. I don't know who's about to get interrupted, but somebody's about to get interrupted. Ooh, double damn. Unfortunately, I just can't seem to keep Aurora up. It's kind of a major malfunction in this whole thing. So definitely think I don't have to grind, which is disappointing because I loathe grinding. But it appears to have been included. While they were trying to be faithful to JRPGs in the recreation of this game, it appears as they, though they took the bad with the good as well. And since these guys are speed buff, they are just ripping our asses out right now. It's bad. I'm going to throw a healing tonic on herself. It's getting outplayed on the interrupts. I need to slow the game back down, I think. Definitely disappointing, but I can live with it. There we go. So we finally took something out. And since we have no MP remaining, I'm going to have to avoid fights after this. Definitely can't take on any more of these fights. They're way too difficult. Well beyond our capabilities, anyways. Every time. Every time. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well. I'll use the fairy nectar, I guess. There it is. So we've managed to get ourselves another level up. Definitely thinking some grinding is in order in between episodes. Disappointing. Super disappointing because, as I said, I really, really dislike grinding. So if I had known this was going to turn into like a lineage situation, I'd have been like... Nee. But can't be helped at this point. 
Let's continue moving forward. Keep an air of positivity around us. We're definitely not fighting you. To hell with you, pal. Let's see if we can get Rubella some of her MP back. This little spider cave is very, very precarious. Magic potion right there. A little bit more MP. Let me take a look and see where everybody's at. We'll also allocate these skills. So we'll give ourselves a defense upgrade right there, which I think is probably going to benefit us quite a lot. And then with her... Part of me thinks I should work towards revive just to make sure that I have it. Let's go ahead and take revive right now. I think that was a bit of an oversight on my side so that we're no longer relying on consumables in order to get the job done. Keep our consumption to a minimum here. Nothing that I can combine at the moment. We've got another griffin over here who's guarding his nest. Because we're coming closer towards the end of the episode, I think I'm going to fight this last griffin battle. I don't know. It's such a large risk. How does that count as an ambush? Or do they always get an ambush just based on the fact that they have a griffin? I'm actually really confused by the fact that they're attacking me on the front side and they're still getting an ambush. Like, if there's going to be, they always get an ambush, they need to explain that somehow and be like, Griffins always get an ambush, like when you mouse over them or something, so that you know. But anyways, we validated the theory now. We can just assume that we always get an ambush when we fight with the Griffins. I don't know. I'm going to go for a Starlight. Let's get rid of the guy that can stun us for entire turns first. I think it's what I would prefer for now. And then with her action, we obviously want to go ahead and throw out a heal. I don't want to take any risks here if I don't have to. Try and make sure that... He doesn't get an interrupt off. I knew he was probably going to go for... Her. Just a couple of damaging attacks off right there. And with Rubella, we're left with the option of either throwing out an attack or throwing out a heal right now. I think I'm going to tumble... Him. To make sure that he gets cancelled out. We've got the crit right there, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna go for another starlight on him. Hopefully that will alleviate us of that really, really nasty problem we have of getting stunned for turns at a time. That's a it's a pretty potent ability. It is an ability that definitely makes me pucker a little bit. I don't think we're gonna get that tumble off, but we could try. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I really sincerely doubt. That's going to work in our favor. Let's refill our wishes because we've used them all up. And maybe we'll get this tumble off. Good. So that one worked out a little bit better. I think really the meta is kind of what's getting us right here where... I'm just not interrupting properly. I need to start thinking about my interrupts and I need to slow the game down a little bit more. I actually thought the combat was slow paced from the first game, but I think in between raising the difficulty to hard and then also increasing the attack speed, I really didn't fully adjust to the game as of yet. And so there it is. We've disintegrated our final foe. I feel like that's a good way to dispose of your foes, disintegration. It's got like a Boba Fett or is it IG-88? Anyways, it's got that, it's got that bounty hunter feel to it. Rough Emeralds time two, a couple more antidotes. I don't think I'm necessarily going to try and get involved with that combat right now. Looks like there's something up and in between the trees too. I love the fact that there's so many things that can be explored here. So there's an exit right there. And then around this side, nothing else. What about on the left? Nope, it appears as though we are totally clear on the left as well. Okay, well, I'm going to break the episode off right here. I'm going to grind out a little bit, and I'll kind of get back to you guys with how many levels we gain. I think I'm going to try and get up to level, I don't know, 13 or 14 here, just because it seems as though with an increase to the difficulty also came along with the fact that it's added kind of an extra couple steps to the game. But I will admit the game was too easy on normal. So anyways, I'm going to grind out a few levels right now. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, I do.